It's one thing to you know experience the support that you get from these areas, but it's another thing to give back. And uh, that's what I think leadership is all about. It's one word, and that's service. I mean, if you can learn how to serve, you can learn how to lead. Wow! Did you learn that at We Are Marshall? <laughs> you know what? I actually learned that. I, was, I had an opportunity to listen to Bill Russell speak at the Sportsman of the Year banquet for the Sports Illustrated when David Robinson and Tim Duncan were named Sportsman of the Year. And Bill Russell was there to give the awards, and he spoke about leadership, and that's what he talked about, service. And I've always kept that. And he, he's, Bill kind of actually um, started my interest in learning how to be a leader and, and just kind of you know, studied leadership and what it's all about. Pennington has also taken what he's learned from one of sports' all-time great leaders and is passing this message on to a new generation. Because leadership is service, we all can be a leader. While Pennington found meaning in the words of one of sports' all-time great leaders, it wasn't until Chad became a father that he understood the true significance of his message. I was kind of out there like a feather in a windstorm and not knowing which direction to go and, and having a couple of different focuses, but once I became a father and experienced the birth of my own child, I knew what my focus was and it all came in the clear picture. For Chad Pennington, the picture is not only clear, it's inspiring and it provides a different perspective on his own road to recovery following two shoulder surgeries in four years. Do you think in some ways you've kind of made a career of showing that you can be a comeback guy? Well, unfortunately, with, with injuries, yeah, I think I have. But uh, you know what? The, the game of football, it, it involves injuries. And sometimes those are totally out of your control and you can't do anything about them. And so instead of asking the question, why me? You know, ask the question, why not me? Why not me and put me in this situation? I know I can get out of it and show people that there is hope and there is light at the end of the tunnel. So that's kind of what I focused on. And I always, you know, I would ask myself, why not me? I'm put in this position for a reason. Let's make it the best out of it.